why we are not worried why we are not worried first and foremost i want to give all praises on our glory to yahaba shimei oshai i want to give double honor to the apostles of great mercy and do rule well salutations to the men of the whole land since elect this is your brother makaza from trinidad camp just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake and the name of this lesson is why we are not worried all right and as you know we could see right now in current state of the world that hey this, the world is cycling down the drain all right we have famines on the horizon we have unemployment increasing at an all-time high all right and we could see that we every day we're moving one step further um, closer to the implementation of the RFID chip which is the mark of the beast all right world war three on the horizon we could see that this world is, is is collapsing and we could see that there is no hope as the scripture said we would have healed babylon but she's not healed all right babylon can't be healed this world is done all right and a lot of people would be in that worrisome state where they're worrying you know, what to do and how their future looks them and you know they, they don't know how to get out of the situation they're in but while the world is in this hysteric state of mind, our minds are in solace. We are in complete quietness and, and, a, and a state of rejoicing because we know that this destruction means the salvation of the elect. We know that when these things happening, as the scripture says, when you see these things, lift thee up for your redemption, draw it near. And this is what we're looking for. We, as the scripture says, looking for and hasten to the coming of the day of the Lord. We're looking forward to that day when the Lord comes to deliver the elect. But salvation comes just after the destruction of this world. So this is why we're rejoicing. We're not rejoicing just because we've seen the destruction. We're rejoicing because we're seeing the, the rainbow that comes after the rain. We're seeing the salvation that follows after. And how even in the time of trouble... We're going to be delivered. All right? We're going to be delivered. As the scripture says in, in um, Ezekiel, I believe it's Ezekiel 14, it says, Though these three men were in it, they shall be saved for their righteousness sake. All right? Once you, once you, once you, you know, you, you believe in the name, Yahaba, Hashem, Shai, and you rehearse the righteous acts, and you, you try to keep yourself clean, you do the works. All right? For the women, out there, you have a husband in the truth, and you, 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 you stick by your husband's sides, you obey him, all right, and you reverence your husband, you and you, you believe in Yahweh Shai. The Lord Yahweh Shimei Shai, He's gonna deliver you, it's gonna be well. The scripture says, It shall be well with thy remnant, all right. The Lord gave us promises, and we f we are fully persuaded that the Lord gonna deliver us in that time, just like He delivered us from egypt and and throughout the wilderness we have faith that the lord yahaba shimei shai gonna deliver us in these times so this is why we are not worried habakkuk 3 and verse 17 although the fig trees shall not blossom neither shall the fruit be in the vines the labor of the olive shall fail and the fields shall yield no meat flocks the flock shall be cut off from the fold and there shall no herd be in the stalls this is famine this is look right, look left. No food, no water. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Guess what? In the wilderness, the Lord made water come out from our rock for Israel. So we, we, all, we, all we could do is just depend on the Lord. All right? We can't save our hand. There ain't going to be no KFCs. There ain't going to be no place to buy no Disani water. Hey, you're just going to have to depend on the Lord, Yahaba, Hashem, Shai, to send his blessings from, from on high. All right, it says, Yet will I rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. We're gonna rejoice because your scripture said the righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance. All right, we're gonna rejoice when we see the end come. Are we rejoicing even now because we see the end coming? But the people out here that in that worrisome and burdensome state of mind is because they don't believe in the words of the Lord Yahaba Hashem Shai. Their mindset is to endure in this hell forever. But we seeking to come out. All right? We seeking to come out. This is not, this is not our resting place. All right? So the scripture said, arise ye and depart. All right? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 41 and verse 
14, I will start at 13. It says, For I, Yahweh thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou womb Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, said Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. The Lord said, Fear not. What are we going to fear? The Lord, if we fear, why, 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 what did the Lord tell Peter? He says, Oh, ye of little faith, why did you doubt? So you can't doubt. You can't doubt if the Lord is going to take care of you or not. You have to believe with all your heart and mind that the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, He have your back. Even in these days, the Lord showing you continuously He have your back. The little things, the little situations that you end up in, the little loss, the little times that you've been in a, in a ditch and the Lord delivered you out. If the Lord delivered you in these little things, how much greater will He deliver you in the day of trouble? So the, all these things were happening so that we will build our faith in the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai. And what we need to do at this time is to reminisce on all the time that the Lord delivered us so that in that time we will have faith and hope in His salvation. That even when we see an army coming against us, we will have hope. Hey, the Lord the Lord going to deliver us. Alright? And even if we die, guess what? It's just a faster trip to the Lord. Alright? And nothing lose faith to the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai because some of us going to be caught in the concentration camps. So even if you be in, under the guillotine, don't, don't lose faith and say the Lord forsake you. Because Yahweh Shai died. Just remember that. Alright? He also died. Alright? This is Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 13. It says, Nevertheless, we are according to his promise. Look for new heavens and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right, so we're looking for a new place, a new heaven and earth where dwelling righteousness. We're not, we're not seeking to, as the scriptures say, we don't have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. This is what we're looking for. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. All right, so we have work to do to keep ourselves blameless and spotless unto the day of the Lord that he may look upon us with peace and deliver us from the calamities that are about to come upon the world. Alright? This is Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The Lord said, We keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell on the earth. The Lord going to keep us from the hour of temptation. All these things are promises. All right? All these things are promises and this is why we believe. This is why we not worried. Hebrews 6 and 10. For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he, sh which he showed towards his name in that you minister unto his saints and do minister. All right? So the Lord, the Lord, you know, he, he not unfaithful to, 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 you know, to, you know, to deliver you. All right? Um... This is Hebrews 10 and 23 says, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. The Lord promised he's going to take care of us, so just believe. And leave the rest of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Shai. You don't worry about where you get oxygen to breathe, so then therefore don't worry about smaller things that the Lord take care of on a daily basis. The Lord take care of us on a daily basis. So just remember, in the days of trouble, he's going to have your back. And there's a reason why we're not worried. We're not worried because we have faith in the Lord. Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. All right? This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 4 and verse 28. It says, But as concerning the things whereof thou hast asked me, I will tell thee, for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. So if destruction don't come, and if America don't be destroyed, if Esau don't be taken out of the way, we can't be saved. So we have to look forward to the destruction of America and the downfall of Esau. And when we see his destruction coming, we have to rejoice because we know it's only a matter of time before we have deliverance and enter into the kingdom. Where we be in our own borders, where we wouldn't be oppressed anymore. 
where we don't have to get up four o'clock in the morning to go to work and slave away anymore where we will be will eat and be full and drink and be satisfied this is what we're looking forward to where we wouldn't catch hell anymore this is what we're looking forward to and this is why we're rejoicing this is why we're not worried because we know we got next all right we got next and we know this all right this is isaiah isaiah chapter 65 and verse 13 it says therefore thus saith yahabah shimei shai this is another promise behold my servant shall eat but ye shall be hungry behold my servant shall drink but ye shall be thirsty Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. The Lord said he's going to cause the enemies to entreat you well in the day of evil. We're going to be taken care of. Just hold fast and hold faith in the Lord. There's nothing to be worried about. We're supposed to be rejoicing. All right? You can't work because they want you to take that injection on your hand and you refuse to take it and you, you know, be, you be put out of a job. Don't worry. The Lord, you have, Hashem, you shall have your back. you be cast down. The Lord said, the Lord, he caused it, he caused it grief. Yeah, he caused it grief. But guess what? He, he also lifts you out of that grief. That's why Job said, um, despise not the chastisement of the Lord. Look at what happened to Job. Job was cast down, even to the ground. But look at how the Lord raised him up and gave him even more for, for that he had before. All right? So don't curse the Lord when you have little or empty. And only bless him when you have much. Bless the Lord when you have and when you don't have. All right? Because even when you don't have, you have. You have the Lord right there. But all he's doing is trying you. Try them as gold, tried in his, in his fire, and, you, and he found them faithful. That is wisdom of Solomon tree. All right, so you just have to stand faithfully, Lord. Yahaba Hashem Shai. And if you worry that the scripture said perfect love casteth out fear, if you have fear, then love is not perfected. And if you have fear, it's because you're sinning against the Lord. Yahaba Hashem Shai. So do righteousness righteously, and the Lord will take care of you and be your succor in the time of trouble. All right, is all you have to do. Is all you have to do. All right, the Lord said He's gonna take care of you. And he will take care of you. Just, just do the works, do his, do his will. This is um, 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. It says, For the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed. Because why? Because we know he's able, to, he's able to take care of us in the days of trouble. And I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. We have committed our soul unto him. So we know that the Lord is able to keep it onto that day. The Lord is able to protect us in that day. So we're not worried. We're not worried at all. The Lord Yahabah Hashem Shai have our backs now and will have our backs in the days of trouble. He said he will be as a wall of fire. I think that is in the book of Micah, of Malachi, if I'm not mistaken. He said he will be as a wall of fire. Let me see if, see if I could find that real quick. Um... Boom, 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 boom. Just bear with me a second. This up, you know, please up some from time to time. Just bear with me a second. So it was Zachariah. All right, my bad. This is um. I'll go straight to the point. This is Zachariah chapter two and verse five. It says, "For I say to Yahweh, Shemuel shall will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her." The Lord said, "He's gonna be a wall of fire round about Jerusalem. He's gonna be our protection, and nothing can come through it." All right. He's going to be our defense in the day of trouble. So all we have to do is just have faith in the Lord. 
this is all we have to do have faith in the lord and he will protect us all right this is the final precept here this is the book of psalms 91 and um i'll go to verse 10 it says there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling because you're gonna be that wall of fire for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against a stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder and the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample on their feet because thou, because he has set his love upon thee therefore will i because he has set his love upon me therefore will i deliver him so because you show that labor of love towards the lord name even when you know your family is your co-workers your friends they mocked and scoffed against you for worshiping the lord you set that love upon the lord so the lord gonna repay you with salvation i will set him on high because he had known my name nate he had known yahabah not christ mosai he will call upon me and i will answer him i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and honor him with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And this is why we're not worried. Because we know the Lord, Yahabah, Hashem, Yashai, have our backs. Alright? And it's all we have to do. Just keep that faith in the Lord. And know that the Lord have our backs. And he will be our help and our shield and our buckler in the time of trouble. He will be our food, shelter and water and clothing and our peace in the time of great calamity. While the world have distress, the elect of the Lord will have peace. And with that... I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Abba Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy. I want to do rule well. Salutations to the men of the hope and saints elect. This is your brother Makaza from your Trinidad camp. I want to say shalom and stay strong.